What's up boys and girls, it's your boy Tech Raj and I'm back finally with another player review. Now we've been heavily on the streams over at twitch.tv slash techrajgaming, hashtag sub promo. And one of the running backs that I've been playing with is this Latavius Murray, 95 speed. 98 acceleration, 96 trucking, 91 juke move, 93 ball carry vision. Now, one of the main things here is that 98 acceleration. It's going to give you a lot of speed. But also, from a pass blocking standpoint, he's 79, so he's going to be a great pass blocker. 94 truck on this card with a 98 stiff arm, which is pretty great. Now, as a receiver, he's not going to be the best out there. Most of his stats are going to be in the 60s or 70s. The route running is actually going to be at 53 which isn't too good, but most of you guys aren't using your main running back as a receiver, or you're running routes where his receiving stats don't really matter. When this card first came out, I was excited for it because Latavius Murray cards have been high in demand, a lot of you guys have been requesting them, but like none of the stats really stood out to me that much. Now, I've had a constant conversation with a lot of my peers people who I play mutt with and whose opinion I respect and we've noticed that things like traits certain stats way more than others but it always really matters what the card plays like on the field which is the main reason why I focus so hard on these player reviews now of course if you've been watching the player reviews my team is looking a little different but we're going to take him out into the field and see how he plays. And I'm going to tell you right now, a lot of my first impressions were very, very good. This card ran angry is the best way that I can describe it. Now, he doesn't have the clutch trait, so that always meant that in the fourth quarter, his stats weren't going to go up like other players who did have the clutch trait. But I had a lot of luck with his spin moves. I had a lot of luck with his juke moves as well. Now, during my, I think it was 16 games of recorded gameplay, I didn't fumble once. The trait that he has for covering the ball is braces versus big hitters. He does have the fights for extra yards trait, but on as far as from a receiving standpoint, he also has the drops open balls trait. And I, I did record one of those gameplays for you, but guys, as far as the speed, remember we talked about certain stats that mattered over others. I think what matters more than speed, as you see the nasty juke move there, is the acceleration stat. And that's really where I would see the worth of this card, because I think his speed is at 95. But with that 98 acceleration, anytime I either turned a corner or I got out of a special move, like a juke or something like that, I mean, he would pretty much be gone. It was like he was shot out of a cannon. Now, anytime I do play reviews, I am primarily focusing on whatever card it is that I'm reviewing. And so obviously with a running back, that means that people can tell early that I'm just gonna be running the ball over and over again. And it was still hard for my opponents to adjust to that. Both because the acceleration was so high, but then also because I could break tackles like a maniac. Even when I did dumb stuff like right here, like juke to the outside as opposed to juke to the inside, it was still pretty much a done deal. Now the good thing about this card is that on Xbox One he's going for 90k, on PS4 he's going for 99k. And I'm not just saying this because of the number, but this card really reminded me of Adrian Peterson as far as the style of how he runs. Where he would have that high speed, but as far as breaking the tackles, I really feel like I could break whatever tackle was out there. Now the other thing that you gotta remember, like right here, there was many times that without pressure he would drop like wide open passes. So this is not really a four down back. This is definitely a card that you're gonna have to pair with somebody else like for third downs who you want to be out there as your main ca pass catcher. But then of course, like all of those like glitchy routes, like that in route on the four verticals or any of those out routes, you'd be able to catch them. And then also when I put him at wide receiver and put him on some of my bond squad scheme, as you can see here, I mean, I was pretty much money on connecting on those passes. So, be that as it may, we were making fun of it on the stream whenever I was playing with him and we were calling Latavius Murray the GOAT receiver. But, of course, when it came down to rushing, man, like, 
Look at this. I mean, it was just consistently breaking tackles, even with a special move or not. On toss plays, he definitely had what it took to make it to the outside, and if somebody like had great pursuit on those plays, he was still able to break the tackles. I mean, most times, like I was gonna break a tackle off of the first guy, and then I had the acceleration to take it deep. Right here, oh my god. Man, whenever I was hitting people with the double juke, I'm telling you right now, it was pretty much, it, it, was, it was a GG. But I had a lot of fun playing with this card. Uh, definitely one of my favorite running backs, especially for the price. Uh, I always love finding those running backs under 100k that could pretty much make my opponent pay uh, for 8th that they did. Right there, my opponent tried to run commit to the right. I was able to get the speed to just stop and the agility to basically reverse field and score the touchdown the other way. So what's my verdict? Guys, if you're on a budget, if, I mean, if you have like 90k to spare and you want a pretty solid running back, this is going to be the card for you. Uh, our nickname for him was the Godius Murray for a reason, okay? I've also seen a lot of people with this card. He's a great backup if you have a high price card, like, like you know, like any of the Bows or Barry Sanders, you know, uh, Ultimate Legend, Ladanian Tomlinson or whatever it is, and you want somebody to back them up whenever they get tired that's still gonna dominate, this is a card for you. Anyway, go ahead and like. If you like the play review, subscribe if you're new, but most importantly, take care of yourself. Peace. It was kind of fast, his trucking was on point, but I was never really doing stuff like this, like on this run right here. Look at this. And I still had time to celebrate into the end zone. Nothing he can do. When he dropped back in coverage, I would scramble. When he wouldn't drop back in coverage, this is what I would do to him. Look at this ball. He was standing on his own 15-yard line, and the ball was in the air until my opponent's 15-yard line.